Well, it's Saturday morning. This is kind of the calm before the storm, I guess. Got the cows all fed. Had a load of cotton seed that just was delivered. We got to get that pushed in. But um, we're going to haul some manure before, uh, before we get this big storm that we're supposed to get. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of flurries and whatever. The temperature's dropped about 10 degrees so far this morning. So we're going to run down and get the tanker truck going. And we're gonna haul manure until the roads get bad so well let's see how the c5 starts here it should start right up it um it's 14 degrees now but it was 25 first thing this morning so. Cold start uh, without it being plugged in, but I use motor code, so I ain't worried about the um, starting to cold like that. So, well, I'm gonna run up and get a coffee and get something to eat, let that warm up, and then we'll start hauling out. The roads are still bare now, so. Alright, we are loading out where we call our little room. This, uh, is in at the end of the pit that goes underneath the barn and behind the parlor here. We're there to load from the other day. Uh, out back going underneath both barns. This is the opposite end and that was the middle. Good steer. James has got the new batteries put in uh, 7200 here. He's got them in there and everything's all cleaned out. Looks like he's got everything tight. So they're going to get this stuff out of the shop and uh, clean that belly pan out of that skid steer. So well, I just headed up here to the payloader. Jared put the chains on this a little while ago. Him and a couple of the guys put them on the payloader. This is absolutely worthless. Um, when we're trying to push any amount of snow with it, not to mention uh, mix and feed, once we scrape the cement pad down, um, it's real slippery. So we put a set of chains on the back of the payloader when we anticipate on getting a pretty good amount of snow so far we've gotten maybe an inch and a half here so far it's just shy of five o'clock here Saturday night I gotta head back down to the shop uh, finish up the skid steer and uh, close in on the end of the day here I don't know how much snow we're gonna get out of this storm they're saying we can get 12 to 18 inches so I'm hoping we only get about three so we just have to see how it goes. We'll have to 
keep things plowed for the milk truck, of course. So, let's head back down to the, well, we'll head back down to the shop and uh, get that skid steer wrapped up. Well, we're just getting done with this machine here. This whole belly pan was full of manure from going down in the uh, manure pit. Joe's just getting the skid plates put back on the bottom there, but this was right full right up into here with manure. So, just got done cleaning that out. He's putting the skid plate back on the bottom. He's got to put the, oh, the little console thing there around the, the levers and close the cab back down. So, that's going to do it for uh, today anyways. Um, I gotta get in and get cleaned up. I was blowing this with air and washing it with water and everything else. So with that being said, uh, that's gonna do it for this video folks. So we'll catch you at the next one. Thanks for watching.